half a mile. Simon Pagano wins. He's made it. Indy 500. So, had dinner last night with Kyle Busch, and he brought his nice, big, fat NASCAR champions ring to the dinner. And I was admiring that. When you walked in, I, I noticed something a little new this year. Yeah. How's it feel rolling into 2020 as the Indy 500 champion? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Here we are, Victor Lane, man, we did it! Yeah. It's, uh, it's a great feeling. You know, I, I keep wearing it. I keep wearing the ring because uh, I want to be reminded myself that you know, I've accomplished my biggest dream in my career. Um, so I just want to be reminded every morning of that. When you race IndyCar, everybody's effectively in the same chassis. Cars look the same. They essentially sound the same. When you come here, it's tremendous variety. Uh, what do you love about the sports car scene in general? Well, I'm a race car fan, you know. <laughs> I just love cars. I love the racing community. Uh, they're beautiful, you know, the aerodynamics. Cars are becoming more and more aggressive. Today, we have a lot of kids walking around, and they go by, and, and you're attracted by the noise. I love it. So you grew up in France, obviously. Le Mans, you know, one of the greatest endurance races in the world, along with Daytona. Who were some of your idols in sports car racing? Well, sports car racing, you know, it's more, it was more about the car. I remember going to Le Mans with my dad. Uh, if you can find the car, it was a Renault Express. You, you'll laugh when you see it. And the first car I, went, I saw go by was the 1988 uh, Jaguar, the silk cut sponsor. Oh, yeah, with the uh, wheel covers. Yes, wheel covered. And the thing was so loud. It just woke me up. I was four years old. I got interested in the Hilton Center right after that in watching the Formula One races. Then I saw Rick Mears, you know, in 91, um, fight with Michael Andretti. Now Rick Mears, he's going outside Michael Andretti. Michael Andretti is low. The same move oh. right back. But it was more about the cars at the beginning. You've raced here several times. You've been close to winning. You've had fast cars. How does the program look for this year right now? Well, Townsend, I've been racing 24 hours races for a long time. A 24-hour race is very difficult to just finish. That number six, Acura, has now gone behind the wall. Then obviously you need a fast car, but you need something that's reliable. You know, at the end of the day, it's about execution. But I think we have a really good chance. You know, Tim Penske and Acura have been working really hard the last few years. Champion in DPI is Acura Team Penske. Dane Cameron won, Pablo Montoya. Last year they won the championship. We're coming here with a target on our back. But the best teammate in the world was Montoya and Cameron. Um, and the team is ready, ready to go. So we'll see. Cross fingers. Hey, Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.